Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so last we left off, we had some free time to do. So let's go do it. Um, unfortunately, I never got the item. Oh wait, I went the wrong way. As you can see, I got the two more of the Monokuma, hidden Monokumas. I don't know where they all are. We'll find them along the way. Um, okay. So unfortunately, I didn't get all the items I need for like, Oh, why is my my mailbox glowing? Can I interact? That's weird. Is that just telling me where to go? Like, this is yours, maybe? Odd. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so I didn't get all the items I need for, like, special stuff because it was random. But I was told that... When I go to the oh, I do not want to spend free time with you. So if it's for that, that's weird. Wow, a stranger is talking to me. I don't know anyone who would try to talk to me so casually. Uh, no, we are not going to hang out with you because I don't like you. That's simple. All right, let's do you. I actually like her. She's cute so far. So, Nikon Sumiki. <laughs> this is. Too weird. It's too much for me. If I'm alone, I'll go crazy. What should I do? Yes, we're gonna invite her to hang out. Uh, uh, oh, uh, is it okay for you to hang out with someone like me? Uh, Thank you very much. I spent time sitting next to Mikan, who was so moved she seemed to be a at a loss for words. It looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. Uh. Definitely. Let's see. I gave a lot of them to my pet, so I don't know what I have left for her. She might like this because she's a nurse. So let's give her... Oh, wait. It's male. Wait, what? Male cylinder with a feminine symbol. Is is that what those cylinders are? Oh, no. Measuring glass. That's why. Okay, so that one's got a male symbol. This one's got a female symbol. Let's give this to her. <laughs> for me? Thank you. It's been a while since anyone gave me something for free. I'm so happy. Thank you, Hijima Hajima. Despite the fact that we decided to hang out, Mikan is acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow I feel... Oh, did I give her the wrong item? Ah, Somehow I feel like I did something bad to her even though I didn't know... I didn't do anything. Um... Hmm? I'm sorry. What is it all of a sudden? I, I thought you clearly looked like you were in a bad mood. Did I do something wrong again? <laughs> what should I do? Um, would it make you happier if I took my <laughs> No, <laughs> what friends have you had? Well, hold on, why are you reacting like this? You're right, you don't want to see me naked, right? Then how about my money? Oh my god, who has hurt you? Seriously, hold on. I'm sorry. Okay, we are going to do everything in our power to make her feel loved. It's no use. I feel like if I start panicking, this situation is going to get even worse. Alright, I should just calm down first. Hey, Mikan, I just want to ask you normally. Aww. To talk? Um, <laughs> today is such a beautiful day. Y yeah. Aww. I'm sorry, should I? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, you don't have to do anything like that. This is troubling. I guess I should start talking to Mikan about something she might get excited about. Type of guy, bandage type, type of pizza. I feel like if I ask bandage type, one, it goes with the nurse thing, but two, she might feel self-conscious because she's got bandages all over her body. Maybe she, maybe she has scars or something and she's trying to hide them. If I ask about pizza, that might make her happy. Oh, I don't know. Definitely not gonna be type of guy. Oh, fuck it. Let's try. Amika, what bandage do you like most? Bandage? Let's see, there's a lot of different types these days. Okay, good. I went with the good choice. It's extremely co convenient because they're all... There are waterproof types and sticky types, but I definitely like non-elastic types the best. They're not too constricting, but 
they so firmly secure wounds. I'm glad. Looks like she's getting into the conversation. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I went ahead and started talking on my own. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who asked you anyway. Also, I feel like I got to know you a little more. <laughs> really? Uh, then let's call it a day for now. Uh, yes. If it's not too much trouble for you, would you like to... I would like to talk to you again. It's been a while since anyone talked to me like this, so... Of course, anytime. Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, <laughs> we decided to go our separate ways for now. And for some reason, I feel like Mikan was starting staring at my back a little too long. She's not a bad person, but I don't really know how to communicate with her like that. Okay. So there's been an update. I should check that out. For now, I decide to return to my room. Let's check out the report card, see what that means, like the update and stuff. Exactly. It's still bright out. I've still got some time left. I don't feel like doing nothing. So maybe I should go somewhere. More free time. Okay. First, uh, let's go look at report cards. Because I have been told they are important. So Mikan is... Uh-oh. This one's, this one's me. Oh, yeah, look. She's got two little diamond... Uh, hope... I think those are the hope crystals, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> she thinks she always she's always wrong and she'll offer to take off her clothes without your permission. Aw. Okay. She likes the smell of bathrooms and alcohol? Oh, like... Like sterilization. I see. Okay. Cool. Who should we hang out with next? Let's see. Oh, actually, let's check on our pet. Okay, we have to clean. There. Good, very good. Everything's going well now. <laughs> Not gonna kill it again like last time. Alright, well I definitely do not want to talk to the brat that's over there. Oh, she's not there anymore, actually. Ah! Oh, Yakuya! My boy! I'll hang out with you. Very strange. Why did I, the organization behind this matter kidnap us? I'd like to think about it, but there just aren't enough clues. What should I do? Should I invite him? Definitely. Hmm. Very well. I was just starting to get hungry from overthinking. This is your leader. Let's eat something order. light. Follow me. I spent some time with Biakuya today, watching him eat an obscene amount of food. <laughs> Looks like Biakuya let me get a little closer to him. That's surprising. Would you like to give him a present? Definitely. All right, let's see what to give him. Okay, guys, I don't have a lot of food items left. Actually, I don't have any. But I do have this Japanese teacup, and he might like the teacup because he could drink teeth out of it, right? And also, it's like a royal wood, and it's Biakuya. We know he likes rich things, so let's try it. Hmm. Oh. Fucked up. Though I want to tell you to give me a better item. That's fine. If you desperately did your best to choose this for me, I guess I must accept it. Hand it over. Hey, Hajima, let me ask you one thing. Huh, me? I don't really mind, but... There's something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. Listen. So let me ask you. <laughs> what is your body fat percentage? Huh? Well, I, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had a check before. What? Never had a check before? This can't be! Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> I swear this is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, Biakia's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just by looking at you, I'd say you're a 9. No, maybe an 8. <laughs> Regardless, it's probably around one digit. <laughs> Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. Uh, I see. Anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is? Y yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. Uh, however, there is no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? What's with that face? Nothing, I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. <laughs> How foolish. Do you really think I'd get mad about something like that? Yes. Yes, I do, Biakuya. You're a lot nicer now. A, 
person like me has no responsibility to watch over you weaklings. All right, never mind. Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name of my family. As long as Byakuya Togami is in charge, you will all know peace. Uh, I see. His personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> the Togami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. He should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out oh, turn out fine. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Togami of the Ultimate Affluent Progeny. Mm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know their place and stay put. That's more like it. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. That's not... <laughs> he's so different. It's like he's the same sometimes. But he's like so different other times. After saying that Byakuya gallantly strolled away. He was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know a him a little bit better. Okay. I decided to return to my room for now. Ooh, here we go. That, that bell just now, could it be? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Hello, everyone! The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! I wonder what festivities await you! It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park. So it begins. Did he just tell us to go to the park? It's in the middle of the night. What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all this, and goosebumps sprung up all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except to listen to him. Damn it, what is it now? Oh, hello. I wanted to talk to her first. Fuck. Oh well, we're here now. Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. <laughs> Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. How annoying! What is it this time? So friggin' annoying. And you shouldn't have come. I mean. Well, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> Since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. <gasps> hey, you talk like you're tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? You... What the fuck did you just say? Wait. So stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. Huh? What? Did you just say friend? Dumbass. I'm not your friend, dumbass. When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Eh. <laughs> Let me be perfectly clear. I can do it, you know. I mean, he could. He's a Yakuza. You. What did you just say? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. I said, I can do it. Do it? What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? I mean, he's a Yakuza member. Hey, Kuyahiko, why don't you calm down for a bit? Bastard. Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. Don't misunderstand. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed, that's the kind of world I live in. Jeez. <laughs> the current rules make more sense to me than a plain ice get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. You? Don't treat me like a kid, bitch. Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! Shut <laughs> There's no way I'm dealing with this kum kumbaya crap. <laughs> if any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll fucking kill you right now. Starting to get Sounds up. fun. Give me your best shot. Well, what's going to happen if you, you're you this easily provoked? That's enough. Enough. Huh? I see. You, Hiko. I understand what you're saying. Don't worry. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Don't treat me like a fucking kid. 
Let me say this. But what would you, what would reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want. If so, you'd be only killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child would do. You... What did you just say? Listen. Listen. So long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I'll not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fuyu Hiko. I won't let you die. <sighs> well, what the hell? Everything you're saying, it's just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words could ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. My name is but Bakuya I am Byakuya Togami. Togami. And I am destined to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> Yowza, he's so cool! I agree. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of my I will family. not let any of you become a victim. That's the duty I have appointed to myself. Speak? Are you gonna fail? Because... Is he gonna be the first to die? Because, I mean... Seems like Byakuya resolved it for now. But even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way for you... Fuyu Hiko really meant what he said earlier, right? No, he totally said, meant it. He's a Yakuza. He's even got the little pin. This is troubling. It looks like you guys were arguing. So I wasn't sure when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Hey, hey. Why are you dressed like that? Hey. Um... Oh, didn't I mention it in my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time. Oh, don't tell me you're going to. Correct. That's right. Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. <laughs> Why does it matter if we're on a tropical island? That hurt my throat. But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course. Of course not. That's why I brought my own. Oh, leave Usami alone. That's why I brought my partner. Oh, uh, oh at least she's in a cute dress. Oh, oh, what is this? Meaningless. Hmm, that figures. Thank you for waiting. Now then, without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokuma Side Splitting Live Two-Man Comedy Show. <laughs> hear anything about this? Are you telling me I have to improvise? Oh. I'm speechless. Hey. Oh, she's so cute. Look how cute I she is. Monokuma. Um, I'm Monami. And together we are the Monokumas. Oh, now, so I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind-reading abilities. Uh... You can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food. Hmm, your favorite food is? You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Kid. That's right. Davers. I'd never eat a dead body. Now then, Monami's up next. Come on, do a short skit or something. What? There's no way I can do that. No worries, it's all good. I know a technique to summon the god of comedy. So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive or after you're already dead? Why would you ask such a cruel question? If I'm gonna summon the comedy, then I'll need a lot of blood. So, a god of comedy wants blood. Mm, pretty please. No matter how charmingly you ask, there's no way I'll let you take my blood. That's right. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful, too. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. No, she's not. She's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Monami went out her way to erase your memories uh oh but it's all for good she probably erased them so that they wouldn't suffer while they're on a tropical island so they could bring hope to the rest of society say what oh no so she didn't wait huh you guys don't even remember how you got to this island am i right well that's because monami stole your Memories. Well, what are you saying all of a sudden? Okay. But wait, there's more. 
She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy. What a shocker! Really? Oh, uh... <sighs> I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliche <laughs> twist like that. Oh, I love the third wall. Please the fourth stop. wall being broken. <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all. You guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. <laughs> S seriously, this is bad in so many ways. Oh, <gasps> Stella! dealing with you. Yeah, his backhand is far too powerful. Why should not be true this time? Huh? That's what did he mean? Hey, hey! How was it? Was it funny or was the comedy too highbrow for you? Come on. What are you saying just now? Huh? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean when I said your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Our school memories completely? What is he saying? <laughs> There's no way. Cause just I just entered Hope's Peak Academy, and then I was brought to this island right away. It's true. That's because that's how you remember it. And that's all thanks to Monomi stealing your school memories. Well, what are you saying? That's impossible. Who knows? Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope's Peak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible. Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous. That's right. That's right, there's no way I have my memories lost. You can't. The don't, don't listen to what he says. Blah, 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 blah. Limit breached. I won't believe. I refuse I to believe, believe such a thing. Yep, everything's okay, I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories, that's a, a lie, right? You're just trying to make fools out of us, right? Wrong. Nope, it's not a lie. And if it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hope's Peak Academy, you all experienced Strange Disneyness. What? How do you know about that? Actually, why that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. W what the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. <sighs> so, a long time has passed since then. Impossible. There's no way. Lie. On the contrary, why is it impossible? Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no. You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Uh, hey. However, um, there's a catch. Could it be? Don't tell me the catch is. <laughs> Figured it out? That's right. You guys have to kill each other. Ah, oh, the first motive. That's my bargaining point. Ooh, uh, hey, hey. You guys want to know, right? You want to know your school memories? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Hey, man. Then you better start killing each other a penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Me hey, off. stop running your mouth. Wah -wah. My, my, why so angry? I'm just providing you all with a motive from the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. <laughs> well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. They even cry after their moms squeeze them out. Special That's why I'm service. giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Quiet. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't believe that memory lost crap for the first in the first place. Uh, but more than that, you guys really don't believe is what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? But what do you mean? Hey. You guys um, don't know each other, which means. Yeah. None of you realize that a traitor is hiding amongst you, right? Huh? <sighs> hey, why are there six? Why are there sixteen of you? If a total of fifteen students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island, I got it. That's right. There's probably a traitor. I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. W what are you saying? 
All this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obviously nonsense. Blame. For real, you guys. How can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't know each other's true natures. That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know it. With those words, everyone felt silent. I wanted someone to argue with, anyone. But nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there's really a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Okay, I'm making my guess now. The traitor, remember my theory from last time. My theory from last time is that our character is actually part of the despair group, but he doesn't remember. So either he's the traitor or what's his name? What is his name? Shoot, the one with the white hair. I don't remember his name now. Nagito, I think it is. He's actually the despair guy. We're the lucky student and he switched us. And that's why we don't remember who we are, because they made sure to erase that part of our memory, particularly. It's one or the other. Maybe. Pretending to be your ally, tricking you guys, it makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? Come on, make the preemptive strike. It's first come, first serve, and the winner takes all. If you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon. This disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. He's really manifesting his, his uh, inner Makoto. It consumes every one of us. Um, Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? It, oh, it's not me, by the way. I know I look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself! You're only making things worse for you by staying silent. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe. I won't believe. What if it's Biakuya? What if that's not Biakuya? What if he's pretending to be Biakuya? And he's the traitor. That's right. I don't believe it. Because there's no way I believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Hey. Manomi, uh, you would know. Huh? Is what Monokuma said true about your mem our memory loss and about the traitor? Um... um, I mean, everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back to the past. Keep your eyes fixed on the future. L let's do our very best. Huh? She ran away. <laughs> How ridiculous. Memory loss a traitor is completely fictional. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bullshit dumbass. Now, it can't be Biakuya, because that would be too obvious. As he said, it look, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from, uh, from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all of my school memories, everything, a traitor hiding amongst us. I'm willing to go back to the idea that we are the despair guy. That's the one I'm going with. But what really struck me was when Monokuma said... You guys don't know anything about each other. Oh, well, that's true. If we don't know anything we said about each other, then the thing about the high school is a lie. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Hey, what should we do? <laughs> it's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. Oh, I, I guess you're right. This is your leader's order. Just so you all know, do not think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. Um, how troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Uh. That's not how the saying goes, but it's not her fault. She's a foreigner, after all. I like him. The mechanic. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that, but later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage within my head, drooping down to my, with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be? 
Someone who isn't like the others. Like someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is. Ah, he picked up on it too. Which means my other theory is correct, because then it's too obvious. We were switched with the kid with the white hair. W what the hell? I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Immediately, I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from the otherworldly reality. Wow. I got that. Okay. They say impossible is a word that o that's only found in a fool's dictionary. Obviously, it's impossible to use a word that's not found in your dictionary. If someone can actually make the impossible possible, if you, say that. you can truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Okay. No more talk about crabs. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. I Looks that. like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Okay. I slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement compared to last night. We all said we'd meet in the restaurant. Getting a little hot in here. All right. Oh, hey. Nagito, you. Do I trust you? Or do I not trust you? Not everyone's as strong as Iakuya. I never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I just run away from my problems, but... It's more like I'm just trying to live my life without even thinking about them all. Even so, I was still able to live. But this is different. Sorry. Ah, sorry. I'm being too negative. No, I understand. I'm the same as well. What? But now that we've talked, I feel assured once again. Being loaders won't get us anywhere, so that's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this is what'll make us cling to hope. Y yeah, you're probably right. Bye now. Well, I'll be heading to the restaurant now. The problem with putting like a little fan on is my hair keeps going in my mouth. Ah, oh, my favorite girl. I don't like you. Hey. Uh, hello. Look, good morning. Yeah, good morning. <gasps> what is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? <sighs> my first time greeting someone. And I was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Uh. Oh, could you do it one more time? <laughs> good morning. <laughs> what kind of life has she had? A little close. All right, let's talk with Brad. Jeez. Jeez, I'm so sleepy. Mr. Ham Hands is so selfish. It's totally fine to spend the morning sleeping in. But if we really need to eat breakfast anyway, what's wrong with eating it together? Aww. Oh, that was me. <laughs> well, I'd like to spend my breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's already fine. Um. Eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming too many sugars and fats. Hey. Who made you my doctor? Don't speak to me without my permission. I'm sorry. Ugh, you fucking bitch. I'm working on making her a confident person. <laughs> Just listening to this ugly bitch crying in the middle of the morning makes me so sick. Kyoko, you definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. Yeah, I hate that bitch. Oh, did you just pop up or were you there this whole time? Hey. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Aww. Jeez, what's with the sullen face? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I really couldn't sleep last night. I feel like she's actually gonna be like our equivalent to Kyoko. She seems like very level-headed so far. I had a lot on my mind and I don't know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Aww. 
Man, just for kicks I should. Prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people over to come chat with me. Ugh, just so you know, it's gonna be a girls only gathering. Don't expect the boys to be invited. That's like an excuse for some girl talk. What do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Yeah, yeah. I'll go on ahead. You better hurry and go to the restaurant. Okay. Uh, you coming? You coming? <laughs> Thank you very much. What kind of... Okay. Nothing. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait. You know what? Actually, first, let's check on our pet. I have to be paranoid. Yep, yeah, see? Hot. Clean. What? Yes. I thought up a greeting for when we eat breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that combines good morning and num 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 at the same time. <laughs> this is definitely a new hip thing to say. In fact, I'll make sure it's the new hip thing to say. Meow. Good num num numming. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go tell everyone. Even if she makes it popular, it'll still be limited to this island. Good morning, Chiaki. Hey. Good morning. What was that pause for? Well, I'm in the middle of doing a combo strike. I couldn't really reply. Doing what? Mm. I guess it's almost time. I'll go to the restaurant then. Did I interrupt something she was doing? Yeah, she's playing video games. Leave her alone. Alright, who's missing? Everyone. Everyone else is dead. Several people were already at the restaurant. But nobody was talking, not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were last late began to arrive as well. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? Huh? It seems Fuyu Hiko is not here yet. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. <clears throat> ah, dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he'd not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe. Could it be? Is he thinking of a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not. Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey. Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk amongst ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party. He's the imposter. Huh? A party? That's right. That's right, a huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party till the sun comes up? This is your leader. Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now that's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. <laughs> On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait. Uh, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendship with each other. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party? I thought it was more like, you know, we can keep an eye on each other all night. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it's of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You say that with such significance. It's all clear now. It's decided we're having ourselves a party. But even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made it clear from the beginning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please, sorry. I'm so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in a situation like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard! Ah, uh, in this case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Hmm. Where's the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't work. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. The airport? No. Where would he go? Um... 
And it's closed place? How pitiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not necessarily enclosed enough. Um... Where will the cottages? With so many people, we would be all pressed up against each other. Mm -hmm. I knew it. But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stop mm -hmm. Pressing up against the ladies without sneaking aboard the women-only train and drag. I feel so lucky. There's something wrong with you. I can't believe how uncomfortable you are saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. <laughs> your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. Then how about that old-looking building near this hotel? Huh? That rundown place. You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However... Indeed. However, Mon M Monomi has forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. <laughs> I have heard your conversation, heard it with all my very own ears. Ahem, I have very good ears because I'm a rabbit. I see. Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Uh, huh? Hmm. Then what's the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they Monokuma's eyes only? Hello! Aw, oh, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. Well, it's of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes! If it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, and I will not hesitate to cooperate. So in that case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate as long as we can party together. <laughs> together? That's not gonna be because you're so disgusting. Understand? You would do yourself a favor and stay away from the mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. I just cannot wait until she is dead. <laughs> your, your kind words make me want to cry. So where are we gonna? Where? Ugh. So we're all good on the with the old building. And? Then what about the preparations? It's in the middle of renovation. Don't we need to clean it first? No. Oh. I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I'm excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey! There's no way. There's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands. Huh? I don't want to do it either. Jeez. What? Nobody's going to do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing. Actually, to be honest, I already prepared the drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. To go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? I mean, you guys could do it as a group. Judgment! Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the winds of this drawing. All right. Well, no hard feelings. Gonna be me, isn't it? One by one, everyone took per turns pulling their chopsticks. Nagito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done... What? I'm left with the red mark. Haha, <laughs> for someone called the um, ultimate lucky suiting. You don't seem very lucky right now. Wow. I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. All right, first I need to prepare my ingredients. Then I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. I, Teru Teru Hanamura, will go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then... Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. I mean, you could have offered to help the kid clean. Would have been nice. There's still some time before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring into space in my room. Since I have some free time, I'd better go see... It'd be better if I went and talked to everyone. Ooh, we got some more free time. And we are going to save that free time for the next episode. Very interesting. We still have not had a dead person yet. But I have a feeling that it's going to happen soon. Maybe at the party. Loving the game so far. Um, not much else to say. Just kind of getting started. So we'll see what else happens. I've got my few theories. I feel like, I feel like with my theories, I just kind of throw everything at the wall and eventually something will stick. 
<laughs> but anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.